In this video, I will show you how to make a table link. So to make a table link, we can first insert one internal tag and set its value as integer. Then in screen, I will insert one set point and I will link the value of my set point to the value of my internal tag. And the link will be bidirectional. Aside I will also insert one display and this display just for now will be also connected to the internal tag just by direct link so I can run the program okay but in some projects or in your own project the value I have in internal tag maybe have some meaning so when you display 0 or 1 or 2 or 3, maybe you don't really get the real meaning of the value. This is why we can make a table connection. For example, here, by making a table connection, I can affect the display according to the source. For example, if the value is from 0, to 10, I will say level low. If the value is 11, maybe I can also write error. If the value is 12, I can write other message and, and so on. So when I run a program, then level low until it's 10, then 11 is error, 12 is fault. Okay, for example, if you want to have a, one more example, here you can also set for 0, 1, 2, and 3. For example, when you have a breaker in Power Automation, we use a breaker. The value of 1 maybe means open and 2 it means closed, but 3 it means fault and 0 means intermediate. So this is in case you have a breaker position. So the value is null because it's out of range. But if I press 0, it's intermediate, 1 is open, 2 is closed, 3 is foot. So this is how we use a table connection here. So we can set for different range of the value of the source, a different value from the property. And also can make it blink and choose from different value. For example here I can write not defined. And then if I run we will have this kind of message with blinking. So this is for the table link connection. 